There are 3 million Jews at the foot of Mount Sinai who have personally seen the miracles of Hashem, who have personally seen the very giving of the Torah and were taken out of Egypt, but still the Parsha is named after Yitro. And the way the Parsha starts off is who is Yitro. Not only was he the father-in-law of Moses and the priest of Midian, but he also was a seeker of truth. This is this may seem questionable because he had tried every religion and every spiritual concept, but the meaning of the significance of it is is that he always questioned it. He always questioned everything and none of it made sense, but the only thing that really stuck was Hashem's what he was his unconditional love and what Hashem had said and shown. And even though the whole world had realized this, had heard about all these miracles, it was Yitro who had ran over to Moses and he was involved with the whole concept of Judaism. And he has suggested the court system so that Moses can concentrate on receiving the messages and the court system can concentrate on having justice for the communities on all their disputes. But the significance of the parasha of Yitro is how he how he was committed to seeking the truth. And in hand with the first commandment to know Hashem, this very statement to know is a very concept of Judaism. It's to know that Hashem is great and always there for us. And to do this, as a time we would state, is to be a judge, not a lawyer. We would have to have friends that challenge us, always see different perspectives, and take pride in our curiosity. Because once we're all constantly questioning things, we'll find the truth and it will just make sense to us and nothing else will make sense but the truth. And that's how the concept of the first commandment can be known for a fact forever because it just makes sense. It's, just, it's something truthful and it's just for everyone to find out for themselves. But I hope you guys all have a great Shabbos and have a good one.